Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Defender. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, how much do I like these vehicles? Well, it's Good Friday today. I've got a long weekend off. Or I did have a long weekend off, but I, I chose to come in and video this. Uh, I love them. It's a Defender 90 2.2. TDCI XS station wagon. It's four wheel drive, short wheelbase, 2015 on a 64 plate, has done 49,673 miles, two registered owners. So it's got the piano black multi-spoke alloy wheels, shod all around with Goodyear Wranglers. The tires are like brand new. We have these black vents with the set screws in, finish it off really nicely. This is the way cars should be built. A couple of screws to take the indicators and the side lights out, replace the bulb. Uh, much simpler times, much easier, much cheaper to, to replace things. It's got audible front parking sensors on. <laughs> when you hear that noise, you've gone too far and you've hit something. So uh, a nice, simple car. Honestly, I absolutely love these. I mean, that, that. <laughs> that you're not going to come off worse with that bumper on it. It's like a big girder, a big railway girder um, <laughs> on the front of your car. So, uh, great. We've got the vents again in the bonnet here with the set screws all around. Looks really good. These wheel arch extensions, the uh, the big meaty tires, this thick way out. Looks looks great at this vehicle. Um, it's uh, probably the best colour for them, although you know you see them mostly in green i suppose but it, it's so it's just so well built no electric door mirrors you you set them that's it uh, proper old door handles with a, a push in thing and then these again check a plate they serve as side steps and also kind of um stone bars <laughs> to get you over anything without damaging your sills. You go over a big big boulder, get to the point where you've overbalanced and, and then come down the other side, <laughs> go over it with the back wheel. Rear sliding privacy glass. Got the windows, little windows in the roof here. I've got the full size spare on the, on the rear here again. You, your reversing sensor, you see the the wheel move through the, the mirror, you've got something. Heavy duty rubber lined throughout. There's also two fold away back seats. When I say fold away, the, the big back seats and they don't fold away too far, to be honest, but they do lift up and go to the side. I'll, I'll try and remember to photograph those because I've got all my photography gear in the back and it's, it's, it's full step on the back here i'm not going to step on it because my feet are dirty um and again the proper old lights two screws change the bulb you're away you pass your mot not taking all the the, the plastic trim out inside the car undoing special screws pulling the whole thing off clipping the back off the the light and, and that's if you can do that these days they're led lights so if you've got a bulb gun you've just got to chuck the old lot away and, and shell out 400 quid for a new one that's why i like these these will be going when all the stuff today is is in the scrap yards um <laughs> proper proper vehicles i'll just take you for riding it Immobilizer's timed out, so I'll just open it up again and hopefully it won't. It's a proper key. Hopefully, it won't wake all these people. 
Now the alarm didn't go off, that's good. Uh, my favourite place for photographing vehicles is also the favourite place for people camping out on bank holiday weekends. So uh, let me just tell you the service history on this. 14th of the 3rd, 2016, 7,009 miles Guy Salmon. 11th of the 4th, 2017, 16,023 miles Guy Salmon. 5th of the 1st, 2018, 23,041 miles Bridgeworks Cheshire. 7th of the 1st, 2019, 30,765 miles Bridgeworks Cheshire. 18th of the 12th, 2019, 38,920 miles Bridgeworks Cheshire. 16th of the 12th, 2020, at 43,408 miles, Bridgeworks Cheshire, 14th to the 12th, 2021, at 49,198 miles, Bridgeworks Cheshire, still 49,673 miles. Um, so here we go. Nice, proper handbrake. And when you're in one of these at the top of a hill, you want to make sure your handbrake's on so you don't want one of those electronic things. Big, big friction plate on the clutch and big springs too. Nice, positive clutch. Again, when you want to set off, you want to set off. You don't want to be rolling back. This, uh, you know, out here in the country, this vehicle, I would suggest, is is life and death uh, to to some farm to some farm animals. Um, I mean, I, I suppose they've got tractors, but you you can't. This, this is the Duke of Westminster's land. And I mean, just look at it all round here. You'd just never do it in a tractor, would you? Um, tractors are all right off the road, but on the road, they're not that fantastic. Defenders, <laughs> they're good on the road. And, well, reasonable on the road and, uh, and good off-road. When I was up here the other week, there's a farmer right out, and, it, and it'd been torrential rain for, for days on end, probably weeks on end. And there's a farmer out in the field right in the top. And I'm not kidding, it was like a quagmire. You, you'd have struggled with anything to get in there. And he's, he's doing something in his field, and he, he's, he's got his Land Rover there, his Defender. So, as I say, this has got the seats in the back. I'm assuming the seats will come out as well. They certainly fold up and fold to the side, give you a bit more room in the middle. You, you get a sheep in the back there. Just a handy vehicle. Nothing. It has got sat-nav. If I just click that. It's got sat-nav, it's got Bluetooth hands-free, it's got Bluetooth audio streaming. We've got a heated front screen in. Um, heated seats even but I was working on yes on, on a vehicle yesterday a Land Rover Discovery and I wanted to check the switch it was a heated seats I wanted to check the check the switch and you know I've, getting the switch out it would just have been a, a, a nightmare this the panels the panels are screwed in so you undo the screws take it out and you and you've got the wires at the back of the switch to test that's the way cars should be made i was doing a a seat switch on a vehicle the other day and i'm not kidding four wheel drive out there on the field um trying to get the side panel off the seat and you end up destroying it. You've no idea where the screws are, or if it's screwed, or if it's just clipped, so you end up breaking it. And the panel's £130. So as I say, the vehicles, like they should be components, component vehicles. 
not things that are stuck in it and hopefully will never come out because we all know these days that you put a panel in a car sooner or later that panel is going to have to come out because there'll be something behind it that will need fixing or you'll need to get to to check and I, I just the amount of money that could be saved <laughs> is this guy is this one that no 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 no, his, uh, his trailer isn't wider than his car. Right, also, these old... <laughs> the proper horn. These indicators and what have you look like they're off an old Morris Marina or something. You can feel the clutch weighing in on the flywheel. <laughs> now th this is, is probably our most viewed vehicle on Autotrader, going off the analytics. But I've not been able to do a video. Um, we've had other things on. This hasn't been cleaned yet. So what you see outside is, is an inside. I gave it a quick hoover. And honestly, these days, when, when I give something a quick hoover, it, it's quick. <laughs> so it's got the makings. There's a couple of marks, as you'd, you'd expect. But it's also, it's not the commercial. There's no VAT on it. We're asking a reasonable price. Yesterday, we had a garage that um, deals exclusively in defenders ring us to ask us if we'd sell it and I, I don't want to sell it I don't want to trade it um, I mean uh, we're ideally based somebody around here if you look around here somebody must want a good one even if you only live out here but you want to get the kids to school in all sorts of weather or you have to wade across a, a river to get your kids to school. They're a, they're a little bit noisy on the motorway, but even then, um, a company the other week asked me to test, review and test, some uh, earphones, or earbuds they call now, aren't they? And they were sports earbuds, and they were noise cancelling. Now I've got a pair of uh, Bose Quiet Comfort headphones, which when I go on a plane out on a holiday, I, I listen to an audio book and I put these headphones on, you press a switch and it cuts the engine noise out of the plane. And these, they were, when I bought them, three or four hundred quid. I have had them for, for a good while, but these, ear defenders or these earbuds sorry 29 quid and the noise cancelling and I was actually testing them in a defender I, I did the video the same time I, I videoed our last defender and I put them on on the motorway and it, it did cut a lot of the noise down because these you know I mean there's not really much sound deadening in them the, the solid panels on the doors and so on but it did cut, it made it quite bearable. So, if you have to go on a journey and you need to take the Defender, although the price of these days, these Defenders these days, you know, you're not going to be short of money if you've, uh, if you've got one of these. But if you need to go on a journey and you, you, your Range Rover's blocked in or something, and just get a pair of those 28 quid, 29 quid earbuds. Cuts the noise out and you can listen to music, audio book, whatever you want. The radio through them. As I say, it's got a sat nav here, but it's also got Bluetooth audio streaming uh, and Bluetooth hands free. Proper. This, this steering wheel. 
I had an Opal Manta when I, 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 I thought I was God's gift. I was 18 and I had an Opal Manta 1600S, a Manta A, beautiful car, one of my favourite cars I've ever had. And I went on holiday with me mate, we went to Torquay and uh, there was a, a car accessory shop in, in Torquay and they'd got this steering wheel in and I really, because Opel Manta steering wheels, they were, they were like massive uh, and just two spokes as I remember with a horn in the middle and this steering wheel was like this with the metal with the holes in it and I had to have it and it, it was about seven quid I, 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 whenever I go anywhere in a car I always take tools with me I, I'd got all my tools in the back and I couldn't wait to do it so I decided to uh, put this steering wheel on outside the car accessory place. Well, if you've ever tried to get a steering wheel on off the splines that's been on a few years, you'll know it's very, very difficult. And uh, <laughs> it wouldn't come off, long story short, it wouldn't come off. <laughs> so I got my rubber mallet and I was banging on the back of the steering wheel and, and pulling with my other hand. And in the end, I lost my temper. And I got hold of the steering wheel and I went boom, like that and pulled it and it came off and it hit me square in the face. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I was seeing the stars. Here we go, cyclists for you. Now, now how can I leave them one and a half metres, especially going into this bend that I can't see? I have to say, it's not pleasant being behind male cyclists wearing like or They're pleasant enough though. Yeah, so... <laughs> the, pain, the pain I've gone through to get a steering wheel like this. And, and it's standard on here. No airbag. No, no airbags on here. I, I love these cars. It looks like Land Rover and Range Rover, they've, they've got thousands and thousands of sales in their order books, so that's great to see. And so they should. I mean, if, if all cars were equal, if they're all the same price, all the same engines and fuel economy and insurance costs which Range Rover would you buy because you wouldn't there's, there's nothing else that little track up there was uh, very tempting Proper four-wheel drive here with the, the second shift. It explains there what you do with the shifts and what works and how fast or slow it works. I do know the heated seats work because I had them on before. I think somebody who lives not very far from here will buy this vehicle because it's, uh, as I say, you know, mountain rescue, what do they use? <laughs> Richard Hammond going up the side of that dam with a, with a winch attached to the front of the car just pulling him up. 
and guys are loony. Gee whiz, these these cyclists at the bottom there, they 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 look like they're gonna be very difficult to leave one and a half meters too. Pheasants coming into land. Ooh. <laughs> the motorbike. We'll give him plenty of room. I mean, it, in my younger days, when this, if this vehicle had come into stock, I'd be, uh, I'd be photocopying the spec sheet and, and posting it through everybody's door up here. That's before we, had, we, that's before we had the internet, and you could just sit drinking coffee and uh, reach everybody in the world in five minutes. Ooh. Pheasant. No pheasants were harmed during the making of this video. But they are dumb. big front centre armrest here. There's the uh, books inside. Just watch it going around here because this is like certain death corner too. Sometimes there'll be something either reversing out of there when you just come out around the corner. Not got it. <laughs> Lots of people out for an early walk. I don't know which of my GoPros just switched off then, but... It's not warm. I can tell you that for nothing. I am just testing this new D DJI Action 2. And I think if it's any good, I might swap all my GoPros for it. Because my GoPros are getting on my nerves. That's the other thing with this, you know. You can see the corners. You see where the spare wheel is. You see the sides.
Oh, good. That's it. I've finished the test drive there. Um, I'll try and remember to photograph the. Um, <laughs> I'll try and remember to photograph the the back seats for you. Uh, as I say, I can't do it at the moment because it's absolutely full of my gear. But um, ideal vehicle. It's uh, this. I'm, I'm assuming it's leather, although I'm not sure. I think it's possibly leatherette and uh, embossed. Just, just nice and easy to work on, and, and we'll be going for a long time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da.